Oh snap, did Torline just make a new stream? You know, it's weird that I made two strings in a row from Toraline, but this time it'll be different. This time I'm gonna have a little bit more structure within my video. So I will be organizing my thoughts based on a couple of categories. One, what the strings are and what they are marketed as. Two, spin potential. Three, power. Four, ball pocketing. Five, comfort. Six, tension maintenance. Seven, durability. The strings that are in review are Torline Snapper, hence the intro. The string only comes in a gauge of 1.23mm. The shape profile is octagon, and let's just take a moment and appreciate how pretty the string is. For marketing, it is marketed as a string with maximum snapback along with increased thickness of the strings. This results in a more penetrating ball with exceptional directional control and has a soft response. Let's talk about spin potential. The spin potential of the string was pretty good. Although being a smoothed out 8 sided poly, pretty much round, this surprisingly yielded good spin. A lot of my balls would spin in last minute and would catch my hitting partners off guard. I noticed most of my balls had a lot more shape to it and being known as a flat hitter, it helps to incorporate spin into my game. Just as marketed the shape and slick back provides sufficient snapback and we all know that snapback translates directly to spin potential. The only thing I can really fault it at is I would feel like there are other strings on the market that provide much more spin potential. It felt like as if there was a cap. Current semi-western grip users would feel the spin potential but will only get so much out of it. One way in order to increase or yield its maximum spin potential would be having an extreme grip. However, this isn't obvious. The power of the string was good. When striking the ball in its correct contact point, the strings would seemingly glide through the ball. I felt like the string's energy output onto the ball was quite massive. It is true that the strings give a more penetrating shot, making it consistently 3 quarters court. However, I would feel like the power that comes from the strings only comes linearly. For example, if you are taking the ball early on your forehand and wanting to go cross court, it could possibly not get enough power and due to its lower launch angle, it will dunk it straight into the net. Although this could be just a user thing though. You can just correctly move around the ball to autocorrect the timing of the contact point, hence the linear lines of play. Although that this string is marketed as a string with exceptional redirection and power, I can only see the power in linear plays. For ball pocketing, I personally felt very little of it, which kind of makes sense because ball pocketing can also translate to spin potential. If a string would have a lot of ball pocketing, then it would hinder the spin potential. But again, that could also be fixed with changing your spin pad and inflicting more wrist action into your shots, but I digress. The ball pocketing seemed very crisp to the feeling where it was almost lively. During contact, it felt like it had very little dwell time, which seems very contradicting to the description for the redirection. I would feel like as if there are two factors when it comes to redirection. Ball pocketing and the shape of the string, both of which have to do with grabbing and gripping the ball. This further supports my claim of only seeing linear lines of play with this string, having to really move your body around the ball, making a clear distinction of where you are going to go hit to. For comfort, I personally thought it was moderate. It is true to the description that this string has a softer response. For some reason, I thought it would have been soft, but it wasn't as soft as I thought it would have been. When playtesting the string, it felt like the string was firm with a softer response. I got you baited. I would say that this string is firm but yet soft. 
When hitting off standard shots, I would feel the vibration sensations, but due to the softer response, it would keep it to a minimum. I will say that by the end of each session, I didn't feel my elbow compared to other stiff strings. It wasn't as addicting to hit as other Toroloin strings like Wasabi. Cough, cough, hit, hit. That's gonna be my next string review. Stay tuned. Anyways, just as long as you keep your swing speed up, the strings will provide enough comfort to get you through your shots. For tension maintenance, I thought it was pretty average. I believe maybe around hour 5, I started to feel a noticeable drop in tension. My ball started to spray ever so out, and they were less pinpoint accurate. This is quite normal, as it only had felt like the tension had dropped just a few pounds. Understandably, you can just add more spin to keep the ball in. But hey, who wants to divert and adapt to do extra work, am I right? That being said, it had a considerable amount of snapback at hour 6 plus. Finally, for durability, this was a pretty tough cookie to be honest. I won't say too much about this topic because it is subjective to everybody, and everyone has and can inflict different amounts of topspin. I'm not a string breaker, I normally cut my strings out at hour 8, however I will just say that the string started to notch around hour 3, so do what you will with that information. In conclusion, Torline Snapper is a decent string. If you are in the market for a firm string with a softer response that has okay spin potential, then this is it. Its tension maintenance is quite average, but yet the durability is quite good. Most importantly, the color of it is really pretty. It's almost worth the sacrifice. Hopefully the graph helps in the overall balance of the string. Post it up there. I personally like the graph and I feel like more string reviews should also include it. Let me know in the comment section down below if you'd rather have this graph or a star system rating. Other than that, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Tennis Bros content.